Pooja R asked me a question. What is the yield curve and what does it mean when it's inverted? Uh, thanks Pooja for asking a question like this. It's better than asking uh, is this a good fund or is that a bad fund? Uh, I find these questions easier to handle. So what is a yield curve? A yield curve is a plot of uh, the price that you pay for money over uh, different periods of time. So if uh, HDFC Limited were to borrow money in the market and it borrowed money for say 10 years, 9 years, 8 years, 7 years, every suppose it borrows for 10 years every year. So over a 10 year period they will have a yield curve that would be the HDFC Limited yield curve. It would plot the 1 year interest, 2 year interest, 3 year interest and logically it will go up because uh, the longer that the money is tied up the higher the rate of interest that you will pay or you will uh, receive also. So your uh, saving bank account pays the least interest, your 30 day deposit pays uh, more, your 365 day deposit pays even better, 5 year deposit pays even better and if you are willing to lock it in for 15 years PPF pays you best right because banks have to get money, banks have to know what they can do with that money for a long period of time saying okay if this person is putting money away for 15 years there's a good chance that uh, I mean of course he could come and redeem it after 6 years saying I'm, I want to take away half but the chances are 90% of the funds or 80% of the funds will stay with me for 15 years so I can take a long term view when I invest. So bankers always pay more to the uh, person keeping money for a longer period. The longer you are willing to lock in your money the higher the interest rates you will pay. That is exactly what a yield curve shows you. Now uh, if many companies were to borrow for various periods of time you could have each company's uh, yield curve. So you could have Tata Steel yield curve, you could have uh, HGFC yield curve, Larson and Tubro yield curve yield curve uh, right banks are very unlikely to come and borrow like this because they have their own casa but for manufacturing companies if the RBI had forced people uh, this is how the debt market would have developed you would know what is LNT uh, yield curve and what is the Tata Steel yield curve today we are using one yield curve called the GSEC which is the government of India yield curve because various uh, borrowings are there for various periods of time so it is easy to cons uh, construct a uh, yield curve for the government of India bonds, municipal bonds etc. People who are almost perennially borrowing and uh, repaying through taxes or by general inflation. So that is what an yield curve does. So Pooja, the, your second question is uh, what does it mean when it is uh, inverted? Uh, well, uh, like I said, the longer you put the money, the higher is the yield. So that is what a normal yield curve shows. It, it, it shows it uh, going up. Now, can you apply the same thing to bonds? Yes, it should be possible to apply the same thing to bonds. Uh, largely, when you are putting money in a C fixed deposit or when you are putting money in a bond, you are lending money to an institution which could be further lending. It could be an NBFC which is giving gold loans. It could be an NBFC which is giving car loans and scooter loans or housing loans. So they are also using money for that. So you need a very efficient market for borrowing and a market which will punish you if you over borrow and reward you if you are very conservative, right? So what happens in case of uh, when uh, exactly like how you get higher rates when you put money for the longer period, that's what normally should happen. However, sometimes what happens is you have something called an inverted yield curve that is uh, that yield on the 3 month uh, paper could be higher than the yield on the uh, shorter term paper maybe a uh, sorry on a 6 month paper or a 1 year paper right even 20 sometimes even the 20 year or a 10 year uh, treasury bills could be quoting at a price which is very uh, not congruent with what is happening in the uh, shorter end of the curve so it's not difficult to understand what's happening what is happening is uh, at the lower end the RBI controls interest rates right you saw that recently they have dropped repo rates and all that but at the higher end even today there are Indian NBFCs which would be borrowing at 10% plus so for a 10 year period 
simply because that kind of money is not available from the reserve bank right so reserve bank or the regular banks are not very keen to lend to an nbfc at the upper end of the curve the 10 year money is not available so an nbfc would be very happy to borrow money at 10% from you for a 10 year commitment for to say at least 5 to 10 lakhs in fact there is uh, at least one nbfc which is doing it through bonds of course bonds are listed so bonds have a marketability but that is no great secondary market for it that is the inefficiency of this so at the longer end of the yield curve uh, it's more difficult to estimate what is happening because there are many factors at play uh, what will be the interest rate so if i am say sitting in the us do i want to invest in india just because the longer yield is uh, attractive i also have to figure in what will happen to my currency right and that may not be enough people who want to put money in debt for a 10 year period typically taking the view that if it is anyway being put away for 10 years why can't i be in uh, equity which is technically more uh, efficient right or uh, which is likely to give me a better return why should i put into debt instrument so these are all things which fa- which impact the price of the of money at the uh, higher end which is a 10 year or a 12 year kind of a thing so inflation expectations go down so which means your short term interest rates could go down if people think interest rates in india will be at 3% and 4% their expectation of interest should go down it may not go down it normally stays in nominal terms but yes these are all reasons you can see why the interest rates are going down at the nearer end and not at the higher end so this explains a normal curve now what happens what is a uh, inverted yield curve happens when the low uh, shorter end interest rates are lower uh, sorry when the shorter rate uh, and interest rates are higher than the longer end interest rates what happens is people are happy to lock in their money for a longer period at a lower yield so if somebody comes and tells me here is uh, i want money at 8% but i will take it for 10 years i may be willing to say okay let me tie it in for 8 years because i do not know what is going to happen to interest rates uh, going forward right so the far end is more difficult to read it also technically signals a recession saying i think the market rates are going to come down because there is going to be no demand for money etc etc at that time my yield curve will be very useful it will be useful that i have stuck my money away for 8 years or 7 years or 5 years <clears throat> during which maybe there will be a recession and interest rates uh, or there could be stagflation anything could be there but largely i am expecting interest rates to come down so if i think the interest rates will come down from 8% uh, for a 10 year paper to say 6% i would rather lock in at 8% today knowing that uh, i am not being very efficient but knowing when interest rates go down the portfolio value will go up and uh, right those things will also happen so i am willing to bet more on the longer term yield curve so i am having i may be having a higher interest in the short term and i may be willing to settle for a loan this is called a inverted uh, yield curve so what is the worry about in, inverted yield curve when i am expecting the longer rates to be lower it means i am expecting there will be demand for money will go down demand for money goes down when there is a recession or uh, you know uh, <clears throat> largely when there is a recession and people are really pessimistic about the future so then but uh, it's not so simple there are other factors governing the longer uh, end of the yield curve it is more complicated and therefore an, e- an, e- an inverted yield curve uh, scares people and therefore people react to it more than what is perhaps necessary thank you